right now we're at Pasadena City College. We're in a, a big old parking lot with our two tractor trailers, just taking everything off. You know, inventory of the equipment, also a personal inventory. And then we head down onto the, the stadium turf here uh, for a rehearsal. First time we're rehearsing since December 11th. First time we're putting any field show uh, together for a few weeks. And it's really about kicking the dust off, kicking the rust off, make sure that we, uh, we remember what the heck it is that we're doing. So set ourselves up for success today and be ready for tomorrow. Even after the long break, everybody was super amped up and ready for rehearsal. I think the weather definitely helped with that. Rehearsing with the palm trees in the background was a nice aesthetic, so everybody was super focused and amped up. I feel like that actually helped the band members be more productive because everyone was so excited to be there. We had the goals in mind of remembering the show and making sure that we had the best product possible for our performance. The rehearsal process that we followed in California was the same rehearsal process that we use all the time. We piece together all the show chunks that we usually do, and we just kind of watch the whole entire show come together from there. From the moment we got to that first hit, I just knew the Rams were back. Not bad for not doing this for a long period of time. Okay, you have a subset where you're going from diagonals to covers, yeah? We, we had one person in particular roughly 74 inches outside of their cover. So if that person hopefully added that to the inventory, make sure we have straight lines. Everybody can see straight lines. All right, inventory on your own. Level two feedback on field, ready to go. I think everybody understands the, the stakes. Everybody understands the mission. You trust the process and the product takes care of itself. So couldn't be more pleased with where we are and what's going to happen here in the stadium tomorrow. It's pretty damn exciting. There were some people that expressed their worries saying, uh, are we gonna be able to remember this? Are we gonna be able to put this together in just a day? But we were already so conditioned from the season prior that as soon as we kind of got in the zone, we pulled it together very, very well. Boy, that's freaking loud. That's pretty neat. <laughs> it's pretty neat. All the great stuff that we did this morning was knocking the dust off of about four weeks of being away from that. Um, and the parade stuff that we're about to hit was all the new stuff that we've been kind of plotting since the end of our football season. So almost a tale of uh, two different kinds of rehearsals we have going on here, just trying to get ready for all the different responsibilities we have here on this gig. 
Um, welcome to the parking lot. We are currently standing in as authentic a rose block as we could possibly make in this space. The preparation that has been going into this particular part of our planning started about this time last year. Todd is getting all these ideas and we get back and he has this idea of like, let's not make it just about Westchester. Let's take the whole region into consideration. So we've got these murals um, that'll be almost a moving kind of float or billboard um, that really kind of symbolize all the, the cool, important um, parts about the Philadelphia region. And uh, the coordination of all those elements involves some uh, banners, there's gonna be a lot of flower, uh, uh, floaty kind of things that are getting pushed along the parade route, but we're adding probably 35 additional performers than what we'll see on the field show, um, just to be able to make sure that we're able to achieve Todd's dream with this, uh, this parade look. The new uniforms that we have are extremely customizable. We have different pieces that we can swap out for uh, pieces that have different prints on them. They were rebranded in a way to provide a new sense of sophistication from the ensemble, but to still hold the same values that the Ram Band embodies. So this is the first time that we're seeing the band all in the new uniforms, and seeing everyone in mass is really exciting. I didn't expect this rose piece to be the way that it is. It's really clean and really cool and very unique to our band. Um, and we can even change this out for all different show themes in the future, which is super exciting. From this line, all 350 of us just walked through the float barn. We were able to see all of the floats that are still not completed, but will be in time for the parade. And there's multiple people, like hundreds of people in there, working so hard to put all of these flowers so precisely on the floats in order to make them look pretty. It's amazing to see that there's other aspects of this parade that have so much work being put into them. And I just think it's so cool that people can come together like this in order to put on something so special for so many people to view. Came around the other side of town and uh, got to the uh, the Rose Bowl. We're going to do our picture of the group in front of this iconic landmark and looking forward to using this as a kickoff for our Bandfest performance in a couple hours. We took that entire photo and the sun was in everyone's eyes and so we had to keep our eyes shut. One, two, three. So we had our brand new uniforms on for a few hours before taking the Rose Bowl picture and our individual pictures. And then immediately after that, we all got in and out burger for lunch and we all tried really hard to not get our uniforms dirty. Everyone was chowing down and that was hilarious to see. People were just sitting out sprawled in the grass, eating burgers. We had the uniforms on all day, so the anticipation just kept building and building, and we were just ready to perform and show off this super suit. You spend all the time, there's all the preparation, there's all the build up to it. At some point you feel like that caged animal and you just really want to get out and do the thing. And today's going to be their first opportunity to really show what Westchester University is on a, on a pretty large stage, so. This entire season has been such a big part of all of our lives. And the fact and that, that like, was Frenchie's last show. That's great. And your last show too. Like this has been such a big part of your life and such a big part of your life. Yeah. Like we don't get to do this again with any of these people. Like it will be completely different next year. It will be. Completely. And that's so scary, but it's so like beautiful that we've been able to do this. Yeah. The band's just gonna keep going forward. I really hope so. Should we do a Rams on three? 
One, One two, two, three, three. Rams! <laughs> I've been getting non-stop texts from folks who are here and they're watching the groups that are here and these are some of the best bands in the world who are here this week. And I keep getting text after text after text that just says, you are going to melt their brains with what we bring here to Southern California today. It doesn't just happen, gang. You put in the work all year, yeah? You come to rehearsal all those days you don't want to come to rehearsal and you show up anyway. You do it for, for days like today, which what we are pretty sure is going to be one of those performances that you remember for the rest of your lives. You're going to melt their freaking brains. This should be a transcendent performance here this evening. Uh, I say it a lot, I mean it every time. I love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more incredible band for you to hear, representing the Keystone State of Pennsylvania, Westchester University, the incomparable Golden Rams Marching Band. I kept having to pinch myself. It was kind of like a dream because the beauty of the space and then the beauty of being there with so many of our friends and family and everything like that was just such an amazing experience. Our show was also really, really good. <laughs> so to be able to show off how Westchester does it on the West Coast was an incredible experience. It was almost bittersweet because we knew it was going to be our last time performing that field show. And so I think, for me personally, I was just trying to soak up every last minute of that show I had left. I felt like I could feel electricity in my veins. It was like every hardship that we had gone through, every good moment, every bad moment, it was all front-facing in the last minute of that show. And all I could do was look at the people around me who had been there with me through all of it and be proud of them. The incomparable Golden Rams the Marching Band. We had many friends and family from Westchester travel out to Pasadena to come see us. And it was really cool to see so much support from home and just to see all the people that came out to show up for us and show their support was amazing. So we are at crunch time, just like a lot of you have been over at the float barn, you saw them at crunch time. We have 1,800 carnations that have to be made into small boutonnieres. All of this stuff has to be done today, total completeness. It has been a very long week, thank you, and, and we're, gonna, we're gonna make history.
Now we just have to get the things down the street and I'll be really happy. So I've been working with Todd for over 20 years now at this point. He told me that they were accepted into the Rose Parade when he first found out. So the band didn't know or anything like that. So I helped him prepare the script and uh, how he was going to tell everybody. So that was exciting to keep that secret. We have a great staff that we've been working together for many, many, many years doing different projects. They have ties to the band as well, um, which is how they were selected. So it's been lots of testing, trying to figure out what could work, what wouldn't work. Um, and I think we came up with some pretty good stuff. So we've been living by Mayish's motto all week. And when you walk in here, all of this in the cooler was here on the 26th, all from Argentina, Colombia, El Salvador, uh, Venezuela, everything within the Central America and also South America regions. We did a lot of pre-prepping so whenever the props came, we were ready to go. These arrangements already pre-made for the back side of the props because we have to cover every square inch just like the parade floats that come down the parade route. This is gonna be on TV. I know. Big TV, all over the world. I know. So the Rose Committee said that we also had to cover the bottoms of the props. So the easy way to do it, moss. So we are actually putting moss on the bottoms of all the props. So there's a green natural background to what is out there. Part of our presentation is kind of cool. Each band member will have this clipped into their Shaco. The interesting thing about this is these two roses are called Freedom Roses, which ties into our overall presentation of love notes from Philadelphia. There's a special solution that we sprayed on them. They're drinking now from the outside in. Here is Hemlock Pine, but Hemlock is actually the Pennsylvania State tree, a pine tree, I believe it is. So we actually have Hemlock represented for the state of Pennsylvania. This is, I know, been a wish of Todd's for a very, very long time. So it's amazing that I get this opportunity as alumni to come back and give back to the kids that are current members of the band. Um, and I'm just, I'm really proud to be an alumni and I'm happy to be here. The anticipation is definitely building with everyone. They're so excited to be here and we cannot wait to see it all come together and go down the street. I'll probably kind of slick it back. Okay. There's one. <laughs> For those that know the color guard uh, assistant that I did have, uh, my best friend for many, many years, Amy Walp, I wanted to represent her in this whole presentation. Gerber daisies were her favorite flower, and we have 250 of these, and they are such high quality uh, flowers that came in from South America. And uh, so I thought it was appropriate. It's a nice little accent color because the School of Music logo has like a hint of orange in it. So when you look at the big arrangements on the tops of the props, the orange gives a nice little punch. Well, thank you all. I mean, you've been great guests and uh, this has been pretty exciting, I think, for our team too, to have you in here. So let's get it off without a hitch and let's really make this thing go, right? Please give a warm welcome to 
the Westchester University Marching Band. So today at Disneyland, our kids got to march through the park here and show everybody that's at Disney today how wonderful they are. They got to wear their parade, their Rose Parade uniforms. The color guard was all in red. So it was really cool to see that for the first time. This whole week so far has been really all about the kids, about the Rose Bowl Parade, and just how excited we are to see our kids marching. It's been fabulous. I couldn't stop crying watching the parade. I couldn't stop crying yesterday at Banfest and I'll probably be a solving mess on, uh, during the Rose Bowl Parade too. <laughs> Well, we're very lucky to be standing in a big group like this with people from all over the world, different walks of life, smiling, having a good time on the last day of the year, giving nothing but positive energy. Very cold, but also very warm in a community kind of sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Rain band it's nice that Ram Band Frog. <laughs> Ram Band, baby. I mean, if you're on the West Coast, yeah, I get them some. Exactly. How many times can you say, oh yeah, I went in the Pacific Ocean on like New Year's Eve and it wasn't snowing? I don't know. Taking this as a win. A lot of fun out here. Can't wait for the Rose Parade tomorrow. Really? Oh, go Rams! Welcome back. Hope you had a great day. Hope you've had a wonderful trip thus far. Um, we want to make sure that we finish the job. So we have a, a huge mission in front of us. We have an opportunity to do something incredibly special and to make memories that will absolutely last a lifetime. We've prepared an entire season. We've been preparing, a lot of us have been preparing for about 16 to 18 months for this moment that it happens in just a few hours. So I really, really appreciate the fact that everybody's gonna put forth their best effort from here through the end of the parade to ensure our success. All right, hey, Rams up, enjoy. Thank you. We were awake before the sun was awake. There's a lot of excited energy, nervous energy, people not knowing exactly what to expect. And we were just excited to show Pasadena what we're all about.
As we were waiting in line to start the parade, we were all very excited and there was so much anticipation. We were all really, really tired, but we realized that this is the moment we'd been working for for months and it was about to happen. 18 months of preparation had led us to this moment and there was nothing else for us to do except for do the parade. One more, one, two, three. All right, here we are. Oh my God, your set pieces look so I, I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen oh, them. Oh, you haven't seen them? No, I haven't. They look amazing. I haven't they seen them. Such, such an astounding number of moving parts with all of it, but it's incredible to see what happens when so many people who are passionate about a project and raising the level of, yeah. of the entire thing, when they come together, it's yeah. a, really awesome to see. So. I'm uh, pumped to see that banner. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the banner's there, that's right, that's right. You heard it there, Jessica. How exciting is that? We're gonna have some Philly magic right here at the Rose Cooper. Here we are. This is uh, an amazing moment. We just saw the props and the banner for the very first time incredibly overwhelmed with uh, with emotions right now. We haven't even gotten started. So beautiful day, beautiful people coming to fruition, baby. From Pasadena, California, from our family to yours, I'm thrilled to welcome you as we celebrate a world of music with the 135th Rose Parade. Let the music begin. The start of the parade and getting to go around TV Corner was super thrilling. We saw all of the people in the stands and the cheering and the clapping and all the TV cameras. I'd say the bleachers were probably as high as this auditorium in here uh, and just floods of just people everywhere you looked. It was overwhelming at first, quite frankly. And then came survival mode. <laughs> There's a lot of adrenaline that goes through you as you turn around TV corner. And then comes the next five miles of the parade, which you know you still have to represent and uphold an image for. So you have to keep that energy up the entire time. There was a part where we halted for a little while, probably like 10, 15 minutes, and we just played our stuff that we play for, uh, for Westchester. crowd loved it. We were feeding into each other. We were feeding into the audience. And I see this band behind me all just, I don't know. They, they, they loved that. They loved this moment, even if it was hard. 
it's all worth it because you get to make that connection with people and to have that be my last thing I do in this band or in any marching band ever, that was special. Shut up and dance with me. We got to like mile four and it really started to hit me that I'm never gonna wear a band uniform again, yet let alone the Westchester uniform. So even though I was so tired, I like was getting really emotional, especially being around 360 of my best friends and giving it one last hurrah. So it was really special. For me, having watched it 65 plus years, it was just, something I'll never forget. And for this band, it's kind of like the crown jewel because we've done Macy's, we've done every major parade, every major event around the country, and this is the one that was always been escaping us and we got it in finally. We've been the best kept secret for decades and now everybody knows how wonderful Westchester University is. We did it. Eighteen months of preparation with what seemed like at many times to be another full-time job on top of my full-time job. Was it worth the time, the energy, the effort, the manpower, the money power, the bandwidth? Was it worth it? I can say wholeheartedly, hell yeah, Rams up. Uh, a little lower. Caitlin, <laughs> interview, action. <laughs> I woke up to my friend Nathan saying, Rise and shine, Rams! It's the Rose Parade! We gotta go! Yeah, we're both like... <gasps> <laughs> and so we had to keep our eyes shut. One, two, three. Okay. We remember how to play these instruments. That's cool. I'm not used to staring into a camera all the time. I'm gonna just start walking like this when I see it. What's happening? Hey there, Rams, how's it going? Sorry. You yeah, see how big it is. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Best ones at the Disneyland, Woo! Stop. I worked at Disney World last summer, so I have lots of experience. We all love Disney so much, right? How much do you guys love Disney? A lot. A lot. <laughs> okay, scratch that. Let's scratch that. We're in Disneyland! <laughs> What's the craziest thing you guys have done?
done so far. Face yeah. Oh, I'm about to go do that. The craziest thing I did was throw up on the person behind me. Did you actually do that? Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you feel better. It's very sweet. How'd you rate it? I would rate it like a 7 out of 10. We went to Pizza, pizza Planet. Toy From Toy Story. <laughs> so good. What'd you eat there? Pizza. pizza. No way. Something that we love to do when we're here is get knighted with glitter. What time is it? Just got off the Incredicoaster, my rating. Definitely like nine and a half out of ten. I give it four Mr. Incredible flexes out of five Mr. Incredible. Oh! I was expecting more from the big drop, but overall I'd give it a solid seven and a half. All right, let's see those Incredibles guns, gentlemen. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was the best experience for our band. Just to do like a little test run before the whole parade situation for the Rose Bowl. Really exciting. I'm so pumped for Monday. Bye, Disney! Say hi, Freak Boss! Hi! What is yeah. this for? Oh, uh, this right. is for the documentary. Oh, awesome. Oh, we're yeah. going to Santa Monica here. We're going to, uh, we're going to the Warner Brothers Studios. We're going to Universal City Walk. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how to hold it. There we go. Here. Hold on. You gotta show the water. Here. Turn, turn around. The turn, turn around? <laughs> Where are we, guys? Animatic here! Give us the Rams up, let's go! Woo! It's Paige here. We are in Paxton right now. There's, oh, it's crazy. Ooh. Dual vlog, dual vlog. Dual vlog. This is dual crazy. Vlog. <laughs> we, got, we got coffee. Paige so much spent money. a lot of money in the lemon. I don't care. Right? I spent so much money. On it's worth it though. It's we really all did. It. We all did. It's called we We're on the Rose Parade. Yes. Fine. What's going on, vlog? It's your boy. Uh, hey, Sean, Jiggy, Wiggy, Haiti, John. Uh, we at the beach. Look at that bubblegum shrimp right there. Uh, uh, Rams. <laughs> no words. This is making it for sure. I'll do my vlog is much cooler uh, than no, yours. My, well, it's gonna where be, are we here? We're Come in on. Santa Monica. See you Santa Monica! But overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. I give mine an 8 and a half. There you go. 8.25 out of 10. Good job, Santa Monica McDonald's. But we don't need to worry about that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that? Is this on? Uh, it's still on. <laughs> For the viewers at home, it seems the uh, holding the camera apparatus has exploded it in my hands. Let's take a break for a second. I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Blaine is back here with a slightly shorter and less comfortable to hold selfie stick, but that doesn't mean the content is gonna stop flowing. And we're about to have a, a ram-tastic day, as they say back in Pennsylvania. Easy come, easy go. Easy I'd like to pay $4 for a churro, please. You look like a plant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna throw. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna do that I've ever had. It's, it's only four bucks. It's all right. Today we're gonna be finding a lucky person that can lick the churro <laughs> dust off my face. <laughs> yeah. I got Lululemon and right earrings. Now. Earrings. Cause that's what we do in uh, California. Yes we do. Rams. Oh. Rams up! Just over an hour. Oh, we're Universal Studios Hollywood, baby. We're at the yeah. city, walk. city Walk. Gonna go get some food. After that, we're headed back to the hotel for a little New Year's Eve celebration, yeah? And then we're going to bed because we have to wake up at three. Oh, yeah. Big day. All right, Rose big day, day tomorrow. Rose Day. <laughs> she's gonna get um, probably chicken if I take that. She's getting the kids. She's gonna get kids' meal. I got churros and chicken on a stick, and I give it a seven out of ten. I got a kid's wow. meal, chicken sliders. I it got was chicken delicious. Sliders. I didn't like the chicken. I give it a two out of ten. I didn't get anything in eight. I give it a eight out of ten. I, I give it a three chicken. out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. The fries were very, very good. <laughs> Goodbye, Ram Van. We love you. Rams up. Rams up. Rams up.